ukazi na nonge begu nene sinfusela kulu begu nene. The Majesty of Gazi and everyone present, I greet you all here today. Begunene, uwe njabulele ngulu uti na mutla emfawe skate siti sibuta ne lapes baye ninjoba kungumambo wakiti stowa tiku fusela na ebegunene. It is a great joy that we be gathered here today as per our custom annually to come and greet and talk as a nation. Begunene, si bonga masulu na labanele, labatala bagiti, labastinile, ngoba gubona gele ito logo gugutika nembala, kutas bayas bili begunene. We thank God and our ancestors, our forebears, who have shown indeed that yesterday, what happened yesterday was a clear sign that Sibaya has been summoned. <laughs> It has never happened in history that at this time of the year we receive the rains that we so received, more especially because it is winter to receive rains that have fallen non-stop. Tibusi sote live leti kona leti gangwane. Joba na infula si bona nje. Nembala isuwe ishoto na tibusi so ebe gune. Indeed, these are blessings from God Almighty because the rains are an indication of blessings. Ebe gune ne. Ne guta wesi bayanje, sita ne live, gusuga gusuga ulomiaga, solo si bona tite lo leti ishe, kanzi besi suga bokoviti, tingi ngane tingi ngale beti kone feni, ge pare se si abona na si sugu msalo miaga, umiaga wa sugu mawa ba muche kakulu begune. Since the beginning of the year, we have seen greater fruits in the kingdom. As we are aware that we are from the effect of COVID and the problems that we have faced as a nation. But we are glad to note that this year has brought much fruit to us as a nation. <laughs> Sibonile live le maswati, li buela, li bangle le maswati, le latiwa gula ka koko, le nso nepo, le smilo, le guati kwe 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 We have been happy to note the restoration that has happened in our nation, restoring back the respect and the calm that we have always been known of as a nation. The harmony and the peace and respect for one another that we have witnessed in the nation is gratifying indeed. Wewe kutisive, sibe mwenye, sibambane, sitale ngekutula, sibege ngekutula, mbili, ebe kune. Nothing will ever defeat a nation that is united, one voice, 
one heart and single minded lokumqoka ukuthi nasisive sente konke emandleni ekutheni kube ngiloyo naloyo abe ngiloyo awuthi nami ngifisa kwakha kuthula ngikubone kwendeka kangwane futhi ngikushiyele netitukulwane letawuvela bekunene It is for that reason that none of us should spare effort in ensuring that we work for the promotion of peace and harmony, not just for us, but also for the future generations to enjoy the peace that we have. Begunene, Lonya Gasbonile and Elive, the Kula, Etinveneti Yendi, Joba, Nimnyaga, Sitena Suga. Nasbona, <laughs> As the year unfolded, we saw a great improvement in our economy, such that even our world, the World Bank has also given us a high ranking as a nation that is highly improved in the economy. La Bonala Gugutsi as I have Sebenda Gakulu and Temnoto, a Wapinze Wabalwa, La Balwa, Livele Maswati, Elteni, our Nakona Lapo, a Lisa Benegakulu, a Begune. Even in Africa, the kingdom continued to take the highlight on the ease of doing business and also as a country that is growing speedily in Africa in developing its economy. GDP, percent even the growth of our GDP as a nation has greatly improved as a developing nation. To have a GDP of 7.8% is no small talk. So we are highly happy, uh, are highly happy to see the GDP growth that has been in the kingdom. Eh, begunene, tonge le titelo, le tise, eh, maswati, langa fanele na nao, eh, ati tobe, ati, ati kape, kukusi, asebendile, abambene, aganye, ganye, wapumele la live, eh, begunene. These are great fruits and beautiful fruits indeed that every Liswati must take pride in the efforts that we have put in unifying and working hard for the promotion of our kingdom. No single person can boast of his wisdom in the achievements that we have as a nation. But this is a collective effort of every Liswati who has put his hands together to ensure the success that we have here today 
as a nation. In the past week, the kingdom was host to Saku, where the heads of state came into the nation to discuss the issues of our customs union. As chair of the Saku's uh, organization, this year we have been able to collect the highest revenue sharing ever witnessed by the SACU organization. All this is because of the success that has come upon the nation and upon our chairmanship as a country. Uh, the various leaders that were gathered in the kingdom applauded the success, the development and improvements that they've seen whilst in the kingdom. They applauded the social well-being that has been improved in the kingdom and the development that they've seen in the infrastructure is what they have told me and I did assure them that I will relay their message to you as a nation as I am today. <laughs> So you last again, Joe Manga Loso. Low Benga Tilens Haulena, a was in Hambaranji and Aranji and Alapa. Also, so so one, oh, Afras Yolum Quatro. Say one way, you so 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 punch, he left way move without Lima without Vetting Gorti. In Voto Eli Velena, a Bugne. We are all witness. To this development, as you drive around, you can witness and see that the nation has indeed developed. When you walk in the roads, the road that you knew before has been changed and now you find yourself getting lost or even almost causing accidents because that road is no longer two-way but is a singular road. This all attests to the improvement that they experienced as a nation. Begunene, no ma we makaya, eh makaya se wa la sabo kaya se ko ya kanya use pa, eh se wo tengsho neli kaya long as out, eh we are born and we are still able to be able to move forward. We have to have to go now. But we will attain to let it sit. Eh se wo tela banga we will have to Even in the rural areas, we have witnessed a high level of development. Electricity provision has been far and widespread in the nation. Even those that are accustomed to riding special vehicles of theirs in the night are no longer going to be able to ride on them because everyone 
is now visible in the rural areas. When we grew up, we all never witnessed electricity in such uh, abundance in the land. And when you would see any house that had electricity, you would possibly think, possibly I've seen a ghost or something unfamiliar. <laughs> Even the road infrastructure in our rural areas has greatly improved. I have been traveling on another road quite recently where I had an experience where cars were stuck in the mud. But when I traveled this time around, I found that now the road has been tarred. And I know that the residents are all over the country are happy to note and see the great infrastructural development that has happened in our road network in the kingdom. Even in our health sector, there has been great improvement and development in our health facilities in the kingdom. I stand confident today that there is no sickness, no disease that will be that can come upon our nation that cannot be treated in our health facilities that are highly improved and sophisticated to meet any disease pound for pound. <laughs> Eh, <laughs> Bonge by a bugwa is cabense where we would say, by Ankena and it called in Bafuns and a look funny lady. A good obonasa where we would say, Onge a malunga, a sieve, a gosuela gulabatala, gulbom boko, on a bomkulu, naulabatala, naulabasha, bonasa where we would see in Bilabo, a is a Sunday in the singing so We applaud all these great achievements that we have as a nation, not forgetting also our social fiber, our elderly amongst us who are already retired and also at home. Furthermore, we have see, gone to see the welfare of those that have finished their higher education or tertiary to see if they can have job opportunities or furtherance of business 
in their various vocation, not also forgetting our young ones, ensuring that every young child goes to the attendance of infantry school and also progresses up to higher school. All this has been looked into in our nation and we are glad to see that. comes to life whilst everyone is benefiting in the kingdom. Amen. <laughs> As we all know that um, as a nation, we have had the challenge of COVID as a nation. Now COVID is gone behind us. COVID had made it impossible for us to convene as a nation to come to the Sibaya and dialogue as we are known as a dialoguing nation. Now that COVID has passed behind it is time to convene and also enable us as a nation to dialogue amongst ourselves. Eh, ni nebe kunene. Eh, noma se kupona gala kwe uti si kati se si beneli. Eh, uyukwanjo kwe uti misebendi ya kanzela na nana yo. Eh, ngezka basa kuona nche njomba. Eh, be kunene. Ubanescarce <laughs> Joba Kubegi was 2022. When they were sick, they were born as a family. They were born as a family. They were born as a family. As we are aware that various important duties had engulfed us as a nation but today we are also gathered here as we are all aware that parliament and also those that have been elected to office have come to the time now that we have to start electing new members of parliament and the various categories that have been announced by the elections and Boundaries Commission, as we are have heard that on the 22nd of July, there shall be nominations 
of persons that are eligible for the election. Eh, <laughs> Sisi kule umsebendi i parliament kule umsebendi le meche lenga hagale umsebendi le asi tu misera kule siveni kwenye logo wote na laba tau lanza na na mo bafare manda baling i parliament beenda ebegune. Since the term of our parliament has actually come to a point. I must say that I, I must applaud the members of this current parliament for sparing no effort in ensuring that they have contributed to all the wonderful results that I have just alluded in my speech. For all this, I would like to thank these members of parliament and do hope that the future members of parliament that are coming will take leave from what these have done and the efforts that they've put into the country and grow it to higher heights. Eh, begunene. Eh, um, seven dual kit for engine joba. Utkalang, a good sea, see this nome, Bessia Keta. Joba Guban el kit for Kala, Guben el kit for Lucibi. Eh, begunene. Loud to get self pelile long. Omabilan <laughs> As we know that after the nomination exercise, we will then be expected to elect our people in the board sectors of our elections, the primary and secondary elections, where we are going to elect our eligible candidates to stand for these elections, which after we shall then reconvene here at the Kettle Bayer to be able to dialogue as a nation as expected. Eh, begunene, le sikolo wa wanewe kusisive, na siketa la bobo mage na boba abe, eh, si auve le sikete, si boge, eskabe ene sekute ni njoba live, li ne mkomo, weguya ka first world, begunene, ne mbala, ubona le wegu tilaba ukeena, but you get less with a nanny. Baobeba now, long come to where we would see Ba Vele, Livel, Fanele, the two together, Apollo, Nasba Figile, Lapa, Bal, two together, Apollo, a Liwa, where we would see Noma Belsangarang, the Kinel Genile, a Rafa's twelve, the Begune. I do hope that as you go to elect persons to stand for the elections, you are going to choose the right people. People who have the mindset of taking this nation to first world status. I leave this challenge upon you as a nation to elect people that will develop our nation and push this nation to first world status. <laughs> Si Apollo and the world would see Sive, Saukesa, Sive, Labaco, Tumba, Nembala, Balesa Tinfu, and was seen in the town Sebenda Mato, a band who laba down for Nepa, but sons live, Babega live, and Billy, Balisabe, a banga beggy, Tinfiso Tabo, and Billy, Elskaben, as I would see Nasi Sebenda la live, who believe in the Lamb and Billy.
I hope that as you go for the elections, you will elect people of noble character, people of integrity, people who will take up the nation at heart and not propagate their own selfish ends, people who will not be deliberating on their personal agendas, but people who will always uplift the integrity of our nation and take the mandate that you have given them to promote this country to first world. Sikande, <laughs> I have seen in previous elections that the nation has indeed elected a lot of men into positions of authority. I want to charge that the nation must consider to balance up this election so that also women can be considered for election so that both men and women are rightly represented into our positions of authority. Begunene, Gantiganjalo, Nala Bulabatu and the Wutsiba Bakubatele, Escaben Septeni, Nabo, Babena, Lodif, the Bio Bunas and the Wutsi Baku, Nala Baba Melele, where Wutsi Nasen Dabu Keta, a Moba Nabo Bana Umkon to Waba Pangulu. I also want to implore the nation to consider those that are disadvantaged or rather disabled to enable them to take a, a, a vote and elect them into offices as well as they are part of our society and their voice must also be represented in every office of the land. Eh begunene eh ngala magama eh njoba nembala umsebenti eh bektobikela sona sive njoba nembala eh na sekusukuma ikhetfo vele siye site la sibayeni Uto watu wa wewezi ge umsebenu yosu ge makaya yosu wa wewezi ah se sa uketa labo le si ba ketsa ago eh le standards ago wewezi mulungu ni majoti bata uba na na senda umsebeni na osi wende ngekula na ngekbambisa na elogu kulu ebegune. I do pray that as we go out for the elections to elect our eligible persons that God Almighty and our ancestors may guide us in the paths of peace, in the paths of harmony and honor and respect in our various communities as we do our elections exercise. <laughs> Na kuse chindwa lo msebe ndi e, Wonge wonge Anga bese Sokuwa kuna lo fangala E umine Nifigelo yungla banyo Kusu ubato msongela uzi E bangangbona lapa E nda kufota lo mwandi E eskabeli Sekuti wonge wonge Umu ntuna skuluma Nekuti ku free and fair E nguloyo agati Yele boxini Nangabe Ushulegi legal police, Lefigela, Selit, Aika, Abu Hambigashi, Utikanya Legona, 
hai gua gua si gua bego kona, lu bego si gua gua cugu la ngan si la, gua bego si gua kam gua bisu gua special gua gua aswa basi gua aswa gua ni le, besa gua pi gua bako ni gua tak cugu la gua us ah, gua be gua be bete le tu tika balai tu, emaswati ah seben deh jum um seben dua le ketu gua bego si eni nabe gune. I also do pray that as we go for our elections, our elections shall be free and fair. No one will threaten the other. No one will do intimidating tactics on anyone. The ballot shall be the deciding factor in our elections this year. I do pray that as we go for our elections, let no one do the works of the dark because as we have heard in times past that when it's dark then it's good to do bad acts this year around and this time around i pray that all such activities be not witnessed in our nation we must deliver a free and fair election in the kingdom <laughs> Membala gen jawapan seksu mau mesebendi doa, usah guna gue gue si jawab i parlimen de dia gitu be solo i kuba mesebendi, namu sa seitau kuka uto wati gue sechendo gue oke tak begune. As the election exercise commences here today. I therefore announce that the term of office of our current parliament has come to an end here today. Ngala makama, says chabli le gul bona live, ne gul fusela mvago miara, si akola fusi stau pinze si bena lul fuwa, na langda ogen se misla lele kona sive, si tipegela, griwa ona lumiara, na se kontega se luke fopegune. With these words, it has been a great pleasure seeing all of you here today. I hope time shall afford us when we shall reconvene for, uh, for me to come and listen to your deliberations here at the Sibaya after the elections. Yeah. Liu sebende ube mose um sebende welketo uto watu utwa kwa live uto ba na ulmende nembala stop kubega kuye embeli ebegune. I do pray that as the nation goes back home, may you travel safely to your respective places, and also to pray that the election exercise. This year, 2023, may be a great and successful and peaceful election. Siya bonga gulungulu as puso songe begune. I thank you. May Almighty God bless us all. Hey, no apologies.